Good morning, Mr. David. Good morning, Mr. Matthews. Please stand before your friends. We are looking at the present. No, come on. 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 To ESS. In preparation to be forwarded to National Service for Security. What's the reaction? Good morning to you, Mr. Matthews. When you said, that are forwarded names. It's as if those that want to, that want to head government agencies are part of as you said, but what you have said, no, what, what I tell them as a lot of looters that want to that, that will lose the country, that government agencies that, that they will act government agencies is an avenue for them to loot. It's an avenue for them to loot because even those the person that forwarded the names to them, the likes of the presidency. That follow the name to DSS and to EPC. And then even the agency them, themselves are corrupt. They are corrupt because we've seen whereby, whereby, when a Fabio was the minister of, uh, of, 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 of NMDC, that his name was the forwarded to the Senate, sorry, to DSS and NMDC, was, was he not being indicted then? Was a Fabio not indicted? Of corruption, but still the same DSS, the same DFC, she cleared him. This is the same man that looted the state resources, but DSS, she cleared him. So the presidency will use his better power. To me, it's just camouflage. Nothing good, there's nothing good that come out of it. Nothing good. He's a, he's a just, just, just fulfilling all righteousness. There's an important point you just raised. You know, in Nigeria and the Senate, when there is a screening for ministerial nominees, they have a, a, a tradition that if you're a former senator, they just say bow and go. Are you saying they should stop that process and do an in depth screening for all the nominees? Even without being told, to a layman, this he does not justify. Okay, for the fact you are an ex senator, if, even if you are competent or not, you just take a bow and go. Does that make sense? Now, what if that person that is asking to take a bow and go happens to find himself in the, let's say, in the, happens to find himself as Minister of Finance? And this man does not know anything about finance. Just because he's a former senator, he will not take a bow and go. You see that stupid tradition in Nigeria? These are people. That need that they are that that they are seeing this need to be totally checked. Then then they need to answer, uh, to give tell Nigeria why they feel they are competent. What about see this take a bow and go as cost Nigeria uh, as as leave us back home. In the United States, by the virtue of the belongs to the ruling party becomes a senator. And now he did not win the election. By the cost of that, he will not take a bow and go into the Senate. But uh, Mr. David, lastly, we are seeing a report where the court is asking the government, all the former government of uh, Jonathan, of Basanjo, Yaradua, and Buhari to account for over five billion US dollar Alacha Abacha suit. What is your reaction? Uh, but we are seeing that the court is asking them to account, perhaps because the court is not convinced that the money was judiciously used. What is your reaction? The court is asking them. What's to account for it? Why, why? If the court is, if the court is really uh, interested in this case, you should write to them. Let them pick them up. This better have immunity. Stop telling us to write. They're telling us, just stop, stop doing that trial. No, I think it behoves on the government to go after them. So, when when, the court has so when the court can issue issue uh, directive for the forensic arrested, let them. So, in all the view, they should account for the money and profit out if the money was actually being diverted. You say what? I, mean, I say, in your own view, uh, if the money was not judiciously used, they should account for it and make provision and provide it for Nigeria. If the money was not in the first instance, was the money judicially seized? I'm not in a position to know. I don't. I'm not. I don't have. I'm not privy to classify information. You don't need a sister here to tell you was the money used five billion years last. How 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 does the money affect affect our economics? Brother, just keep borrowing. Eh? 
Wadi now is in London, sleeping. OBJ is in, in, in his house. Adjlatan is in his house. Uh, what is this man's name? Yeah, I mean, Buhari. Yeah, no, he's dead. Ah, yes. You have three ex-governors still who are not alive. Let the courts invite them because this man has drained, this man has drained and drained economy. The money was not used. The, the money was not used. The money was not used. Every the the government had an opportunity to get the share of this money and then loot it because this money is not being accounted for. Even the World Bank too, they don't make sense to come and they are going to share people in the middle of the street. Why would they be giving government? People that want to suffocate Nigeria. Then lastly, this issue of 800 million US dollars being uh, loaned to Nigerian government to be given to the vulnerable in Nigeria as palliative for the soil, first assembly removal. It seems as if the government is not saying anything in that regard. It what is your reaction? The government is not, the government is not saying anything. Yeah, the well, has cut away with the money. The, the money was not being given to this government. But the government, before Buhari left office, made up to understand that this government will utilize it. Which utilize what? In the first place, did Buhari even even the money? Why did himself might have afford the money? This is an allegation you are making, Mr. Let the cases come arrest me now. Let the cases come. How many months now? Close to two months now. Now, not as we said, and people have been suffering. End of that million from from the world dollar. Uh, uh, dollars. Is it not to cushion this effect of this? And they targeted 50 million Nigerians. I'm a man of Nigeria. But are you among the vulnerable? The most qualified vulnerable in, in Nigeria, I'm the number one. You understand that at a point, the National Bureau of Statistics said over 133 million Nigerians are extra dimensionally poor. Are you saying you are one of them? Am I saying I, 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 I'm not saying. I'm, I'm, with every conviction, I, I am one of them. Because, because, of the, because, 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 now, how do you best explain an individual that, according to the World Bank, so those that are not categorized among this category are people that are barely fit between, between one dollar per day. If you have one dollar a day, that means a poor man. So, conclusively, uh, if they want to disburse that money, uh, you should be expecting yours. <laughs> <laughs> I should be expecting mine for how long? Uh, people, you said you want to discuss money from. You know how that it has.